Hi guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today's focus is going to be on fermentation. Um, this guy right here, he's holding his bicep, probably because he was, you know, lifting weights real hard one day in the gym, and uh, his body was not able to supply his muscles with enough oxygen that he needed in order to lift the next weight. So what did he do? His body began to break down glucose without oxygen in the process called fermentation. So what is fermentation? Uh, fermentation happens when oxygen is not present. It takes pl place after what's called glycolysis. In my last video, I talked about cellular respiration. Uh, the first step of cellular respiration was glycolysis. The next two steps were uh, the Krebs cycle or the electron transport chain. In, in fermentation, forget about it. We don't have the energy to go in. We don't have the oxygen to go into those two cycles right there. So fermentation, what is it? Well, it's the process of releasing energy from food molecules by producing ATP in the absence of oxygen. So fermentation is going to happen uh, without oxygen. We have two main types of fermentation. We have lactic acid fermentation and we have alcoholic fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation is what occurs in me and you. So I'm going to go ahead and say that occurs in animals. It does also occur in plants as well, but... Um, for all practical purposes, I'm going to talk about it occurring in us. Alcoholic fermentation, that occurs uh, by a fungus called yeast. So what is lactic acid fermentation? Well, this guy here, he's holding his knee. Maybe he ran for a really long time. Maybe he was a, a marathon runner. Um, if you play a sport, maybe you play uh, cross country, maybe you're a soccer player, maybe you're a football player, something like that. Um, after a big game, after a big meet, you may know the next day that your 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 just muscles kind of are really sore, right? Um, well, that's because you have a buildup of lactic acid. Lactic acid builds up at, uh, when you don't have enough oxygen to supply your muscles to break down uh, food the proper way through cellular respiration. So, lactic acid is is a byproduct of breaking down that glucose when ac oxygen is not there. So what do you do to get rid of the lactic acid? Well, actually, as you know, as, as much as it, it is weird, you go and you run some more, and you get rid of that lactic acid that way. But anyway, um, lactic acid builds up in the process uh, through fermentation where we don't have oxygen present. When you're really pushing yourself during that big game, lactic acid will build up. We can also have alcoholic fermentation. Uh, instead of lactic acid being given off, we get alcohol and we get carbon dioxide. This is given off by yeast. Yeast is, believe it or not, it's a fungus. So when you're making your bread or you're uh, enjoying, their, or enjoying that bread, you can thank fungus for that. Um, the reason that we use yeast in bread making is because of this right here, carbon dioxide given off. So uh, carbon dioxide is gas, so when we're making that bread and we're kneading that dough, it will begin to rise. Why does it rise? Well, because the, the yeast, the fungus, will begin to uh, fermentate the uh, glucose or the sugars that are in that bread and give off carbon dioxide, which will give off little bubbles of gas, which will make the bread really fluffy. Now, on the other hand, another byproduct is alcohol, which um, supports, you know, several billions of dollars are made every year by making things like beer and other types of alcohol through the process of alcohol fermentation. So when does uh, fermentation occur? It occurs when your cells are low on oxygen. Um, that, that, occurs at, that occurs during a process called glycolysis. And we can have two types. We have lactic acid fermentation. We have alcoholic fermentation. And it, the goal is to produce energy. Why do we do it? Well, we produce energy when oxygen is low. Now, the key point to know about this is that, no, it does not require oxygen. So it occurs when oxygen is not there. So it's what's called anaerobic. So I'm going to go ahead and review the two types of fermentation that we have. We have lactic acid fermentation. Again, this occurs in me and you. Uh, we take glucose. We break it down into pyruvic acid, and we're going to get a little bit of lactic acid from that, which is going to make our muscles really sore, and then we're going to get two ATP molecules. So we're going to get a little bit of energy from that. This, again, occurs in animals, plants, as well as bacteria. 
So I, and once again, this is going to this is going to contribute to muscle fatigue. This is what's going to make us tired. So when you're really stressing yourself at that big game, big meat, whatever, um, you are building up a little bit of, of lactic acid due to fermentation. We can also have alcoholic fermentation. Almost the same process. We take some glucose. We get uh, we're going to break it down into pyruvic acid. Although this time we're going to get alcohol as well as ATP and carbon dioxide. Now. What does this? Yeast does this. Yeast has the ability to produce alcohol, ATP, a little bit of ATP, and carbon dioxide. So here I have a diagram of cellular respiration. So we take glucose, which is broken down in a process called glycolysis, into pyruvic acid. Now if oxygen is present, we're going to go off to the citric acid cycle and eventually to the electron transport chain. But in fermentation, Bam! We have no oxygen present, so we're not going to go there. So all this stuff here is not going to occur. We are not going to get uh, the Krebs cycle. We are not going to get the electron transport chain. So we're going to stop right there after glycolysis. In me and you, this is where we're going to build up lactic acid. Or, in, in the case of yeast, this is where we're going to get uh, alcohol. and carbon dioxide and also in the, and then the whole process we're gonna get a little bit of ATP but unlike cellular respiration where, where our end product is 36 ATP we're only gonna get two so it's not very good uh, it's a very inefficient way to get energy but that summarizes fermentation again this is Mr. Herbst and I'm signing off folks y'all have a nice day